Uh, you know, two tough home losses this weekend. Overall, what can you kind of say about the weekend? The, the teams that you faced, uh, I know, are obviously pretty talented, but just your overall effort this weekend. Well, I, I thought the effort tonight wasn't a problem. I, I think uh, when you come off a loss like we had last night, we didn't get all our, our energy maybe channeled as positive as it needed to be. There was still you know, there was a little bit of negativity out there, and, and that now the, the question is how much can we learn from this weekend? And what can we gain from the adversity we we're going to be, you know, up against this coming Friday night? You know, this is what athletics are all about. Is is the you know, it's like you said, it's not building character, but it but it is is building relationships and how you respond to the relationships and and how you overcome adversity. You know, by you know, usually it's like, what can you do for your teammate? I think we we all have to look a little bit at the eye now and ask ourselves what more can we do because I think when we play as good as we can play we we beat anybody but we also don't have as much margin of error as some some other teams so you know we've got to you know dig deep and, and learn from this situation and and you know they played a great game we had the two best players in the league without question in, in my opinion you know in a Terrific matchup, even though they didn't guard each other. They, they both played terrific. They both had great games. And, you know, they had, you know, they, they shot the ball, you know, and maybe got a few more free throws. They made all their free throws, 25 free throws. So, you know, you got to hand it to them. Is it just hard for you guys to chip back into a game like that uh, when they're hitting those outside threes paired with that free throw shooting? Well, Billingsley's a senior, and he's been a real solid player for, for three years. And, he, he made, you know, all three of his three attempts. And, and when he shoots well, they're a really difficult guard because you need so much help on white. And even though Kohler only was one for four from three, the one he made was a huge. It stretched their lead. And so all in all, they again, they, they made the positive plays they needed to make. And, and we have to do a, you know, a better job of, of you know, funneling our, our effort into, uh, you know, basically – when you get a little down, a little adverse, and, and we've got to do a better job. It seemed like uh, the second half, just all the air got taken out of the building. Uh, can you attribute that to anything? or You know, there was not a lot of flow to the game. You know, there, and it's, you know, I can't really blame anything. It was, you know, the whistle was a little bit erratic, but you can't blame that. Uh, I think there's a lot of frustration in the building because they wanted us to do well so bad that when we didn't, it, it just, like you said, it just sucked the energy out of the gym. And uh, it's unfortunate, but once again, that they, they made the plays. We, like I said, we had the two best players in the league having both playing terrific games, and, and now we just got to figure out what can we gain from this adversity because we've never faced it. We haven't had you know, a situation where we've backed it back at home before. You know, I think 15 years. So I, I think we got to learn from it. You know, you, all good things come to an end, but I, we can we can get better from this, and that's what we need to do. Alex, you've obviously got the most experience on the team. What can you tell the guys after a tough home weekend like this? Uh, I mean, we're going to learn from this. We're going to watch film. We're going to break it down. We're going to we're just going to need to shake it off starting next week and just work, and just get better, come ready to play on Friday night. What's it kind of do to set you guys up, uh, you know, play Metro State with even more on the line now uh, than maybe there was even a couple days ago? Uh, I mean, all these games count the same when they're lost. So, I mean, we need them all right now, or we need as many as we can get, really. So, we're just going to go in each game focused, one game at a time, and then uh, more important for the next. You've obviously come out on the, you know, wrong side against UCCS twice now, but uh, what is it like when you're standing on the floor with uh, another guy like Derek White and, you know, there's that kind of talent on the floor? I mean, it's a competitive game, as it showed. I mean, they just got the better end of us twice this year. But, I mean, we still got more basketball to play. Will that kind of be in the back of your mind if you were to see them one more time in a conference tournament situation? I'm not looking that far ahead right now. We're just going to take Metro as our next game first. Coach, with, uh, you know, I said, you know, Chiefs obviously got the most experience. You guys are kind of still a little bit of a young team. A lot of guys haven't been in, you know, critical spots. Uh, do you feel like that showed a little bit this weekend where it kind of hadn't really all season? Well, we need to get, you know, better play from from everybody. And you can't single one thing out. Like I said, what we've got to figure out is, is again, 
channeling all our energy because I still think when we play at our best, we're the best team as good as anybody or better. And but we don't have as much margin of error as some other teams. You know, we we play finesse basketball, and we got to really rely on each other and you know channel our energy in just one direction. And you know that's what we need to, to learn from this. That you know how can we you know we love each other more. You know we got to you know make sure that. We support each other more because you know no one's going to be saying great job when they go to class this this next week. They're going to ask what happened, which is is good because at least it's not expected. You know, so now we've got to you know rally the troops, get everybody ready to go against uh, Metro State on Friday night and another home game, and can't take it for granted. And like I said, we've got to learn from this past weekend and move on. Thanks, Asi. Okay. Thank you.